Normal sorting behaviour is to sort based on a numeric value, either high to low or low to high. But what if you want a custom sort order? For example, you might want to sort categorical data in a specific way, or maybe you've run into the common problem where your month names are sorting in alphabetical order instead of calendar order. In this video, we're going to look at the easy way we can create custom sort orders in Power Pivot and Power BI. We'll look at categorical data first using some school data. Now the school our boys attend reports on their progress in some of their subjects using categories. We've got them here. There's exemplary, commendable, satisfactory, limited, and unsatisfactory. Now, when I create a column chart, let's just add one in and I'll bring it over closer to the field list. And we want the achievement and the value you can see it automatically sorts it in descending order based on the value. Now we can change the sort order and choose sort by achievement. You can see it's sorted in alphabetical order descending, but I can change that to ascending, but it's still not the order that I want because remember I want exemplary, then commendable, then satisfactory, limited and unsatisfactory. So the way we can do this is using a sort by column which is simply a numeric column that tells Power BI how to sort the categories. And I can add that to the table using Power Query. So let's go and transform this, opening the Power Query editor. And I'm going to add a conditional column. We'll call this my sort by. And we simply write some if statements. So if the achievement equals exemplary, then that will be number one. If achievement equals commendable. That'll be number two. And we just rinse and repeat for the others. And we only have one more category left, so we'll just call that number five. That's unsatisfactory. Click OK. It adds the column. Let's change this to whole number. And we'll close and apply it. So now we have the new sort by column. All I need to do is set the sort by order for the achievement column. And I can do that on the column tools tab, sort by column, and we want sort by. So now when I use this column in any of the visuals, it's going to be sorted based on this numeric column here. So let's pop back and have a look. And there you go. Easy, huh? So I haven't had to change anything here. It's automatically picked up the new sort order. Now, just keep in mind that this table is tiny because the data is already summarized by the achievement categories. So adding a column to this table isn't adding much data. It's not going to make much difference to the size or performance of your file. However, if you're working with fact tables containing hundreds of thousands of rows or even millions of rows, then you'll want to set up a dimension table for the sort by column or add it to an existing dimension table if you already have one. So let's take a look at how we do that. Here I've got some monthly data from 2018 through to 2021. It's not a lot, but imagine it's thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows. If we look at the data type for the month column, you can see it's text. And when we build a visual with this column, let's just add in a line chart. Again, I'll bring it over so it's close to the fields. So here I want the month and the value. You can see by default, it's sorting it in descending order based on the value. So let's change that to sort by the month. And we'll sort it in ascending month order. You can see again, it's sorting it alphabetically, which is not what we want. So we use the sort by tools to fix this. Back in the table view, you can see I already have a dimension table for my months. And I've got the month name and the sort order already there. This is a unique list of months. I haven't got them repeated, so this table isn't going to slow down my file. Let's specify the sort order. So with the month name selected, sort by column, and I want to sort it based on the sort order column. With that done, I then need to make sure I have a relationship between my months dimension table and my monthly data fact table. So I'm going to look up the month column in the fact table to the month column in the dim table. Now we've got our relationship set up. Let's go back to the visual. Here we want to use the month field from the dimension table, this one here. So I need to remove the fact table month field and instead use this one here. 
and now you can see it's sorted in the correct order. Now obviously you wouldn't summarize all the years and only show them by month. We'd add the year field, so let's bring that in above the month. Then we can drill down and you can see it's still sorted correctly. So we've got January, February, March through to December for 2018 and so on for each year. And that's it. So remember, if your tables are small, you can add a sort by column to that table. But if your tables contain thousands of rows of data, it's better to create a separate dimension table that contains the sort order for a unique list of the categories, or in this case, the months. Well, I hope you found these techniques useful. You can download the file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.